Hey guys, it's the cast here. Welcome to not a video review, but another vlog. Vlog number three. So um, I'm doing this vlog because I haven't done a lot of uh, stuff in a long time. I'm actually doing this video because I just got my 300th subscriber, which is uh, pretty awesome, I guess. Uh, it doesn't really mean much to me. I'm not making any money from these videos, but what the hell? I haven't done a video in like week, two weeks, I think. So uh, here you go. Today's uh, topic is what is the right mouse for you? Uh, so we're talking about mouses, we're talking about these, not um, like uh, rats or mouse or mice or that kind of stuff. <laughs> so what is the right mouse for you? So it's everyone asks this question, asks me this question, and saying you, you use all of these different kinds of mouses. Use the Diamondback, use the ergonomic mouse like Death Adder, IE 3.0, use the Zai, use the Kinzu, the Kari, like uh, Logitech, like whatever. This is billions of mouses out there. Which one is the best for you? So there's really uh, three points that I want to address um, in this video. I'll just like run it down for you first. So firstly is the type, the shape of the mouse. It's really either ergonomic or ambidextrous. Uh, ergonomic as in the right hand mouses, like, like Death Adder fits your hand, and ambidextrous and the copperhead Zai can do so. Second of all is uh, Okay, I'm, sorry, I'm going to focus on the shape of the mouse. I'm not going to focus on uh, the sensors, etc. So what uh, what people find most comfortable. For me, currently, I use the Zai because uh, for a number of reasons. Well, first of all, uh, like I said, there's like different uh, shapes of the mouse. Second of all is the genre of the mouse, uh, genre of the game that you're playing. Most people, uh, pro I, personally, I would probably recommend uh, ambidextrous mouse, such as Zai or the Cockpit for RTS. So we're talking about StarCraft 2, uh, Warcraft 3, uh, even like MM MMOs are quite good for uh, these uh, ambidextrous mouse, or Dota even. Why? Because I, I, f I personally feel like uh, using uh, one of these kind of mouses, uh, it gives you really, really good control, like precise control of the flicking motion. And during this flicking motion, I, I, I feel like you have like a really good control of really like small movements, uh, etc. Not that you can't use it for FPS, but I just prefer ambidextrous mouse for uh, RTS. And you have the uh, and you have FPS, which I usually recommend ergonomic. Uh, not you can it doesn't really matter. It's really up to your own comfort. But personally, I think uh, FPS uh, for ergonomic, you uh, you have better control over it. You don't have to use you don't use as much like like wrist motion usually you use like more of your arm more of your arm like bigger movements and uh, ergonomic just seems a little bit more comfortable third of all um so that's that's the rundown of the different genres for mmos yeah i, I would probably suggest ambidextrous as well. third genre is i mean third uh, uh thing that i want to talk about is um what people would find comfortable um there's small mouse there's there's small mice there's big mice there's big mice, like, uh, for obviously bigger hands, you find it more comfortable, like the i3.0, Death Adder, uh, the Zai even to some extent is a relative, like, okay, decently sized mouse. They have the smaller mice, such as uh, maybe the Copperhead, well, it's kind of small, it's much more thinner, you have the Kinzu, you have the Razor Abyssus, um, smaller mice for people with smaller hands, and maybe uh, you find that more comfortable. So it's really up to personal preference, and you would really not know uh, unless you are trying them out for yourself, that's what I uh, people message me with messages, questions saying, "What mouse should I recommend?" I have like small hands, big hands, blah blah blah. I grip it claw grip. I pick it uh, ergonomic. I grip it like uh, palm grip. Doesn't matter. It, you have to try. It. Sorry, I mean I have a fourth thing really. Fourth, oh, fingers look weird. Okay, fourth thing is once you find a good mouse, stick with it. If it's comfortable and you use a long time, stick with it. Don't. Try not to contemplate that there's a better mouse out there, unless your mouse actually sucks a lot and you want extra features on it, but if you're comfortable with the mouse and you use it for gaming, just stick with it. Why I say that is because once you start, you want to get accustomed to mouse. For example, the i3.0, you move to a death adder and then suddenly it feels kind of weird, but you stick with a death adder. Uh, and you kind of use the death adder, you get used to the death adder, but then you go back to the i3.0 because you're so comfortable with the death adder. I, I think home will feel weird. So every single time you switch mouses, your your hand takes a uh, adjustment period. For example, I used to love the Death Adder. I switched to the VX Revolution for a while just for like wireless gaming. 
after a month, I didn't use my death hatter for a month. I go back to my death hatter. My death hatter suddenly feels like a rock, like a huge rock, right? And it, I mean, like, as in, it's just, it's just like huge compared to my VX Revolution. I'm just like, I, I don't remember my death hatter being like this, right? So, uh, same thing for the ID 3.0. I used to hate the ID 3.0 because my, hand, my, my hands may have been a little bit smaller. Uh, I didn't really like using it. It's comfortable, but it was just too big for my hands. And then, and for a while, I, I went to other mice and I went to the ID 3.0 again. It was comfortable. Then, I, I stuck with it. It was it was it was great, but then like uh, I got comfortable with it. But then uh, I went to the Zai, and then suddenly the Zai w was really nice. But then I went back to the i three Bruno. Then the Zai didn't feel good, and it, it just it just complicates things really. So, more of this story of my personal experience is just stick with the mouse uh, that you find most comfortable, and and just and just and just roll with it. My personal example of this is really the raise. Uh, Steel Series Akari. I when I did my review on the Steel Series Akari, um, it was I recommend it as one of the best mouse out there. The sensor was great, same as the Zai. I think the shape was great. And it was ergonomic, but it had really good uh, RTS control, which made me love it so much. However, w once I went to the Zai, uh, and I tried by, I actually sold my Akari to a friend. I tried the Akari again, and and it just felt really really weird. Maybe I just got used to the i3.0 or the Zai, the Kari just felt weird. I just couldn't use it anymore. I couldn't feel comfortable using it. I once suggested that as one of the great, be better mouses out there. Sorry, mice. Um, so that's the moral of the story. Um, just try out whatever you can. Try finding uh, mice out there for uh, second handed. It's cheap. You buy it, you sell it, try it out. If it doesn't work, you sell it out. Find what's most comfortable for you. I can try to recommend. Uh, good mice and see if you like them but you really have to find out for yourself hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video vlog not a review uh, thanks for watching thanks uh, the mock TV uh, I think it was for being my 300 subscriber and uh, it keeps me doing these videos uh, if I have I don't have any new gear recently so but when I get my hands on anything I'll make sure to post a review uh, thanks for watching guys